the 12 copies of a Beatles of Beatles CDs, seven copies of Pink Floyd CDs, three different CDs of Michael Jackson, two different CDs of Madonna. Find the number of ways in which one or more than one CD can be selected. That's a key thing here. 12 copies of a CD, seven copies of CDs, three different CDs, two different CDs. We'll just be treating them differently. What do I mean by that? We have 12 copies of Beatles CDs. So B, 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 12 of these. Seven of Pink Floyd. P, 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 P. Three different CDs of Michael Jackson. M1, M2, M3. Two different CDs of Madonna. M82. What's the catch here? When you're talking about copies of Beatles CD, to me, only the number of Beatles CDs counts, not which Beatles CD. It's like having 12 copies of, of, of the Bible. So I'm not selecting a book. I'm just deciding, am I selecting two Bibles or three or four? Or the decision making here is not as much selection of each item as it is of selecting the number of items. So as far as the Beatles CDs are concerned, I can say I'll do 0, 1, 2, 3 or all 12 of them. As far as the Pink Floyd CDs are concerned, I'm going to do either 0, 1, 2, 3 or all 7 of them. Now coming to this M1, M2, M3, I could have M1 and M2, I could have M2 and M3, I could have M1 and M3, I could have M1, M2, M3, only M1, only M2, only M3. What I'm selecting matters, not just how many I'm selecting. So. I could select none of them, that is one selection, or I could select one of them, 3C1, two of them, 3C2, all three of them, 3C3. The other way of thinking about it, M1 is either in or out, M2 is in or out, M3 is in or out, 2 into 2 into 2, 2 cube. Here there are two square possible selections, or my total number of possible selection is 2 square into 2 cube into 8 into 13 into 13 into 8 into 2 cube into 2 square however this particular selection includes one possibility where nothing is selected no Madonna CD no Michael Jackson CD no Pink Floyd no Beatles that can't be the case because I'm selecting one or more so in this whole thing subtract one or we're looking for 13 into 8 into 8 into 4, 64 into 4, so 256 into 13, minus 1, 13, 6 is 78, 8, 7, 65 plus 7, 72, 2, 7, 26 plus 7, 3, 3, 2, 8, minus 1, 3, 3, 2, 7. I subtract that one because there, this will include the possibility that nothing at all is selected which we can't include. Subtract that one in the end, we're good to go.